Kevin Copel, a longtime Lake Hatchnahal resident, called me and told me that the FWC had sprayed his lake two weeks ago and now they were having the worst algal bloom that he had ever seen. Lake Hatchnahal is located just north of Lake Kissimmee and is one of the Kissimmee chain of lakes. These lakes play a vital role in cleaning the water coming from the Orlando area. They once were full of aquatic plants, but now, thanks to the FWC spray program, they only have a fraction of the plants that they used to have. I made the two hour trip to the lake and Kevin had his boat already in the water and we were out on the lake by 8.30. There were dead plants everywhere. According to the schedule of operations on the FWC's website, their target was water hyacinth and grandiflora. Both of these plants were located in the littoral zone. Many scientists believe that you should never spray any chemicals in the littoral zone. This is the shoreline area and this is where you will find most of the frogs, snakes, birds, snails, shrimps, and basically the entire bottom of the food chain. Furthermore, these plants filter nutrients out of the runoff before it goes into the lake. The plants in the littoral zone do not impair navigation, which is the original excuse that the FWC used to start spraying their herbicides. It just happens that the littoral zone is the last place that has any plants left. They've killed everything else. We saw many clumps of rotting vegetation that had floated back to the surface due to a process that I have explained before. It's called anaerobic fermentation. That's when rotting vegetation on the bottom starts releasing methane gas and causes the mass to float back to the surface. This depletes the oxygen levels in these areas and the fish and everything else that needs oxygen leaves these areas. We stopped to talk to a couple of fishermen that were out pre-fishing a tournament that was going to be held on the lake in a couple of days and they told us that they didn't get a bite all morning. We saw other shorelines that looked like they were doused with gasoline and then set on fire. This is just another example of anaerobic fermentation. I have traveled all over the state chasing algal blooms and I gotta tell you that this one ranks right up there at the top. Every year they get worse and worse and the more aquatic plants that the FWC kills, the worse these algal blooms are going to get. We saw very few birds and the ones that we did see were flying away. The toxins from the algae is very toxic to birds and they have a very low immunity to them. According to several people who live on the lake, they said that there wasn't any algal blooms before the FWC sprayed two weeks earlier. I have documented many times algal blooms happen a couple of weeks after a major spray campaign. It's getting harder and harder for my critics to deny the possibility that these chemicals do cause algal blooms. There was a steady eastern wind for the last week which pushed the algae into the western end of the lake. The algae was thick. It started at the weed edge and went a few hundred yards out into the lake and stretched for as far as the eye could see. The closer you got to the western end, the greener the algae became. It was mixed in with the Kissimmee grass and it made it hard to see where the grass edge ended and where the open water began. The Kissimmee grass is where many important critters live so this algae probably wiped out a lot of the food chain. The wind pushed the algae into every cove and creek. Not even the secluded cove could dodge the onslaught of this invasion from a toxic intruder. Check out the chairs. This was someone's private fishing hole. The algae blanketed the entire surface, shading out the bottom and robbing the water column of vital oxygen. This patch started in the western side of Lake Hatchnahal and was a few hundred yards wide and stretched for miles, almost reaching the middle of the lake. If you would like to call and thank the FWC for this latest murder of our lakes, here is their number. Give them a call.
I called three lifetime residents of Lake Hatchinahal and they all told me that there has never been an algal bloom on this lake and the reason why was this lake was full of hydrilla. In the last few years, the FWC has wiped out 95% of all the hydrilla on this lake. Governor Ron DeSantis, I'm begging you, stop this spraying before it's too late. If you don't, this is what the future of Florida will look like.